on the fact that the Bible's plagiarizing the Bible. Well, you know what? Why don't they, why don't Esau make a damn movie on uh, uh, the the Epic of Gilgamesh movie? Yeah, you know. Oh, what's that other book? Uh, Martinetta. Uh, the Enumer- why don't you make a movie on that? Why don't you have books out on that? Nobody speaks about that. The Bible always comes up, man. So is that Bible? When there's a major earthquake, do they say this earthquake is of uh, Enuma Elish proportions? No, it's of biblical proportions. That's right. Okay? That's right. But right, basically, right, to right. get to the point that I'm trying to make, well, an elder to Har- apostle yeah. Tahar made that point, and it's heavy. It's always the Bible. Now, that movie came out in 1966. That was a big, uh, um, what do they call that when they make a major movie? Epic <laughs> Yeah, yeah, epic. Yeah, epic. that was an epic movie, and they had the top actors and the the people that played in that movie were top actors at at the time. Man, that was like a, a thing. But then they got to the part. It started off with Adam and Eve and the Noah and the shit in the scene with Noah. That Edomite that played Noah, man, he really had you believing he he was he was Noah, man, and the stuff. It, it, he was all rough. In other words, that the one with Russell Crowe that blows them away. You know, and he had the sons. Then it comes off, but it ends off with Abraham and Isaac, mm-hmm. right? And showed the birth of Isaac. And it, I mean, but yo, but according to the scriptures, it was accurate. Yeah, yeah. They was right on. They the movie was right on point with the scriptures, okay. the, the, down to the letter of the scriptures, right? But it goes into the part of Abraham, and then when it comes to the part of Abraham where um, George C. Scott is playing Abraham, it starts off, and then then, then, then there was a man born of the line of of uh, of Seth. And of, of Shem and of Seth down to Abraham. They want they go through the genealogy. Then it says, and it starts off the scene with Abraham is showing Abraham and them leaving. And the Most High told Abraham to leave uh, the earth, the child, to leave that land of the earth, the child leaves. And so Abraham left the narrator. Yeah, it was a journey to go back to the so, Garden of the Eden, of the Garden of Eden. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And in the scene, they you know, they showing so-called Abraham and them with the flocks, and he left with his flocks and his. Cat. They show him leaving, and he left her of the child deeds. And he going and out into the wilderness, the most high told Abram to leave his father's house. But you know what? These yeah. unconscious clowns, they say that there's no biblical reference of uh, Abraham. We got, all, we got all kind of things on Abraham, man, uh, 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 on, on so-called biblical Niggas are gone, Hebrews, man. man. Niggas uh, are like gone. the king, king of Moab. Moab. What was his name? Uh, Me- Mesha? King Mesha? Oh, he, 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 um... Use a cuneiform, uh, the king of Moab, Moab, uh, king of Moab uh, the, the, the name of the, the stone was called uh, uh, Meshestele, which, which is a Moabite stone, you know? Really, it should be the Mesha, Mesha is the king's name, but Stele is stone, all right? And it's written in the, Ca- the Canaanite, uh, um, was uh, a Ph- Phoenician, Lashawan Kodash, Paleo Hebrew, whatever you want to call it. And then it mentions the name of Yahweh. The king of Moab mentions the name of Yahweh. That his God, I think his God's name was Komesh or Kamesh, Kamash, Kimash, Kimash. Yeah. That his God overtook the the Israelites. He gave he gave he gave his God the credit. And then he even mentioned King David. So you tell, come on, man. That's right. You niggas out of your damn mind. Hold on, even the you, be, you should be focusing on getting your man natural Tahuti out, out of the joint. Yeah, man. they can't even get that nigga out of jail. But the Arabs, you talk about Abraham, man. You got all these goddamn Arabs over there in the Middle East, in Iraq and Afghanistan. I'm talking about the actual Ishmaelites, them Arabs. They believe yeah, in they Abraham. Came, well, no, no, but where did they come from? They came from if Abraham. If Abraham wasn't around, there would be no such thing as Ishmaelites. There'd be, there'd be no, no Arabs. Arabs. There'd be there'd be no. Uh, uh, if there was no Shem, there'd be no Elamites. There'd be no. You wouldn't have nobody. There'd be nobody. You'd have a bunch of dull ass fucking Hamites. You'd have Hamites. You know, like bangs, <laughs> you know? And you'd have them, them Hawaiians and them, them Polynesians. You'd have and they, them. Don't, they don't make things happen, man. It, 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 it'd be oh, man everything that came out of Shem, including Esau, Esau yeah. getting the credit for doing all kind of great things, right? Yeah. Well, he came out of he came out of, out of, out of he came out of Shem. There'd, there'd, he came out of Abraham, man. There'd be no and Esau. Dummies, and you dummies, you reading books that were written by so-called Jews, but then you but you're, you're actually reading these books and you're trusting in these books, you know, you're, you're trusting in these books by by that you cl- uh, claim them or uh, proclaim them be great scholars, but then they's going around saying that they're they're, they're, they're Hebrews. 
That's right. It's, it's like just like I'm getting a book written by a guy that's a pixie, man. My yeah. line goes back to the, the the pixies and shit. Yeah. Or the Ewok people. Yeah, the Ewok. You know? The Wookies. The Wookies. Yeah, the Wookies. He's a Wookie. Yeah, he wrote this great book yeah. about Egypt, but his but his line. What, what nationality are you? He's a Wookie. I'm a Wookie. <laughs> yeah, right. A Vulcan. I'm a Vulcan. But the but the but the, but the Arabs, the, the so-called Arabs, who were the Ishmaelites, they acknowledge Abraham. They acknowledge Abraham. They, they acknowledge Abraham. The, the Abraham is spoken about in the Quran. Father, they call him Father Abraham, right? So how could they they say that Abraham don't don't exist, man? And then, you know what, you dummy, uh, shaka utmost, as some nigga would call you. You can't even say almost. What made Egypt? You talk about how great Egypt is. What made Egypt great? It was Joseph that made Egypt great. It was always the Hebrew that made things great. Okay. They won't acknowledge that though, man. Because what? Since since Egypt is so goddamn great, um, when did they ever come back in power, huh? If they're so great and Ra is dealing with them and the Great Spirit is dealing with them and the Sun God and all that, wouldn't they? Wouldn't I'm in Ra? Would not? Would not? Would not he bring them back in their in their power? Now you might ask a question to us, but well, wait a minute. What about your God? You ain't in power. Yeah, we ain't in power because the Most High put us in this condition. And this devil, Esau, the Edomite, he set him up, man. And he getting ready to bring him down. You see this man going down. You see everybody, I, I, was, I was reading last night, I was going to, uh, there's a, a group, and I should have, you know what, man? Let me see if I can find it. There's a group in Guatemala of so-called Jews that the elders of Guatemala, which are, uh, you know, Indians, you know, Indian tribes, they basically had a council and they kicked them out. They they kicked. Let me get the story. Yeah, because them them so called them gutter rats and causers are scumbags, man. And they got kicked out of nine, 109 different countries, man, throughout history. Everybody hates them, man. I mean, let me go to the story. Yeah, and and, and your boy uh, Cristobal Colon, Christopher Columbus, he was a so called Jew because um, the there was a an expulsion of the so called Jews out of. Um, out of Spain in uh, August uh, 2nd of 1492. And uh, Columbus's uh, voyage was, was not set until August 3rd of 1492. But by August 2nd, all those so-called Jews had to be off the mainland. So all th that night, August the 2nd going into August the 3rd, Columbus and his crew, they all slept on, on, the, on the ships because the so-called Jews had to be off of the mainland by the end of August the 2nd. So that was that was that was set up. Cause so you so-called Jews, you gutter rats, you Kazas, you nothing but a bunch of scumbags. And then, um, then the uh, um, the uh, the uh, Sephardic Jews, you know, that are in Spain, they they derive from the Khazars, but they derive from the Khazars on the um, on the, uh, 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 the the monarchy of the Khazars. Because you had different classes amongst the Khazars, but the monarchy of the Khazars were the ones that went over to Spain, became the Sephardic Jews. The lower class of the Khazars were the ones that went into uh, uh, into Germany. That's where you get them Ashkenazi Jews from. Which can I say something? The Bourgeois had to come out of that line. Yeah, Let me tell you something. The Bourgeois, listen, man. Like I don't have the actual documented proof on it. It's speculation, but it makes sense. The Bourgeois had to come out of that Khazar. The Bourgeois were so-called Jews. Yeah. More than likely, the Chesedah Bourgeois and his father, Rod.